We are playing Ultimate Texas Hold'em at Dania Beach Casino. The buy-in for the session is $1,000. Let's get it. We are starting off with $25 on the ante and blinds, $10 on the trips, and $10 on the ultimate pair bonus. Looking for two straight wins in a row. And the first hand, great. We have an ace of diamonds. We are starting off with the 4X. We're putting $100 on the play. And okay, we hit the ace. And the dealer has absolutely nothing. They don't qualify, so they're going to push the ante. And we have a four. I was hoping that we could just start off on a great foot and get an ultimate pair bonus, but it wasn't meant to be. But the first hand in the books goes to us. And the second hand, we have a king nine, and it is also becoming one of my favorite hands, just like it was for my dad. And we do hit a pair of kings, and the dealer qualifies with the pair of sevens. This is great. We're going to get paid on the play and on the ante. Two four X's our way. Let's go. We have a queen of diamonds, six of diamonds. Now, according to the book, this is a 4X play because they are suited. But I always play according to how I feel. Now, this flop is great. I am going to 2X the flop because we are one away from the flush and queen high is good. And great dealer. Thank you. You just gave us a flush and we needed it because the dealer did have trips. So this is a great hand to steal from the dealer and we are going to get paid on the play. We're going to get paid on the ante. Now the flushes in this game is different on the payout than on the heads up poker where it is three to two, but the trips is also the same, which is going to be seven to one on the trips. Always know what the payouts are because they differ from game to game. All right, we have an eight of spade, five of clubs. We're going to check that. Oh, nice flop for us. We have five, six, seven, eight. We're one away from the straight. Let's go and nope. Now eight high, I'm not gonna risk eight high. Definitely gonna fold that. And the dealer has a queen four, which is enough to beat us. All right, six of clubs, nine of hearts. We're gonna check that. And we don't hit the flop. We need a little bit of help. We need a six or a nine. Okay, dealer gave us a six to stay in the hand. We got the mid pair. And great, look at that. Six, nine, beat six, eight, and the kicker plays. Remember that in this game, you're playing the best five cards versus the dealer's best five cards. All right, we have queen four of hearts. We're going to check that. Nice flop. Okay, so we are hitting on this session. We're gonna two X that. And let's see if we can hold off. And the dealer has a 10 deuce, which is perfect because they do qualify. And we're going to get paid on the play and on the ante. All right, king of diamonds. And I said, you know what? I've seen enough to just trust the 4X. Normally, I see what's behind the king, but I'm just going to go for it. And let's see what we got. And okay, so we didn't hit anything, but we have a great kicker. And oh my goodness, disgusting. Dealer has a jack. But thank you, dealer, for finding an ace. And because of you, we're going to get 15 to 1 on the ultimate pair bonus, which is $150. It would definitely be nice if Big Slick can stop slicking. Okay, dealer, give it right back to me. Let me have an ace king so that we can make up for that last hand. And okay, we hit a king, which is great. But the dealer has bullets and with an arsenal like that, we are drawing absolutely dead. Definitely overkill, dealer. You would have been a magician if you would have given us an ace or a king to at least have the ultimate pair bonus. All right, eight deuce of diamonds. And we miss on the flop. We're going to check that. And yes, nice runner, runner for the flush. We'll take that all day, every day. I accept your apology, dealer. I know that you wanted our ace king to hold up, but it didn't. But instead, you're going to pay us on a little flush. We're going to get, again, 3-2 to two on the blind. And we're going to get 7-1 to one on the trips. All right, 6-8 of clubs. We're still looking for that first straight flush. Okay, that's a good straight flush start. And okay, we need... Look at this. Since we have a 4 to the straight and 4 to the flush, I'm going to risk it with 8 high. And let's... Oh, I saw it was a deuce hidden in the background. So now we need a miracle... And sometimes miracles just don't happen and we're going to lose. We know that if we didn't hit on that hand, we were going to lose. But since we were four to the straight and flush, we went for it. And we move right back to another 4X with an ace deuce. Let's see what the ace deuce has in store for us.
and wow would you look at that we just hit a full house dealer thank you so much we can't win with ace king but we could definitely smash it with an ace deuce and this is the first full house of the session now in this game the blinds are also three to one and the trips are also eight to one so it's exactly like the heads up poker and we move from a full house to my worst hated hand, which is the 49ers. Let me know in the comments what your most hated hand is. All right, so we're playing the board. Let's see what we can do with the board. Hopefully the dealer has the same strategy and they do. They are playing the board as well. So we're going to push. All right, jack of spades, deuce of spades. At least they're suited. Let's go. All right, we need some help. A jack or deuce running spades. Okay, so we have a jack. And you know, any pair I'm going to play it. And yes, it worked out. Even though we were risking it because any club would have just given the dealer a flush. It is difficult to get a pair or a flush in this game. All right, five of hearts, three of spades. We need low cards. Those are not low cards, dealer. We need some low cards still. And okay, this is great for us because we're playing in the board. We got two pairs with the ace kicker, but the dealer is playing with three pairs. They said I got aces, kings, and seven. All right, how do you stop a losing streak? You get a seven deuce of hearts. That's how we end the streak. And yes, we hit a two on the flop, so we're going to put a 100 on the back end to 2x that. Let's see if it works out. And no, the dealer has other plans. They have a five. All right, we got another seven, but this time with an eight of hearts. We're going to check that. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we need help. We need a seven. We need an eight. Okay, we got an eight. This is great. And the dealer has a bottom pair, which is phenomenal. That's pretty much the only thing we probably could have beat. So that was perfect. All right, queen of hearts, ten of clubs, automatic 4x. Guys, if you're new to the game... Any two cards over 10 is an automatic 4x. I know we didn't hit. And the dealer beat us with a king. But we're betting that our two cards are better than the dealer's two cards. All right. Three of hearts. Jack of clubs. We're going to check that. We missed the flop. We need a check. We need a three. A jack. Ace, two, three, four. We're four to the straight. But you don't get paid for four to the straight. And the dealer has a four and an eight. So they had us with either of their two cards. All right, Jack-9 suited. This is a 4X. It's probably on the bottom range of the 4X, but I see 7, 8, 9, 10 Jack. So we hit a straight and the dealer has Jack-Queen. So this is a great suck out for us because the dealer did have us out kicked with the Queen Kicker. But every once in a while, we as a player, we get lucky and we're getting 1 to 1 on the blind and we're getting 4 to 1 on the trips. All right, King of Spades, let's go. We're going to automatic 4 exit. Don't want to know what's underneath. Surprise us. Okay, hopefully we have the ace. And yes, the dealer's letting us free roll. So let's go, dealer ace king. We need to win once with ace king and king five. Now, one of my subscribers, this is their favorite hand. They prefer to go 4x with the king 5 than an ace 5. I see you out there. And you know what? We're going to do it again because we got another king. Oh, this time the dealer has king 5, so we're free rolling. We cannot lose this hand. We could only win. And the dealer had other plans. They gave us a baby 3. They could have given us a baby do so we could have gotten trips. But instead, they gave us a baby three. All right, six of hearts, four of clubs. Definitely checking that. Great, we spiked a six on the flop. Even though it's a bottom pair, we're not going to be scared. And great, we got trips. And we needed it because the dealer spiked a seven on the flop. So this is a great trips. We got spared on the river and we're getting three to one on the trips. All right, ten of clubs, nine of clubs. I love this hand. I'm not feeling the 4x, but what was I thinking? I obviously should have 4x it because we spiked the 10 on the flop. We got the top pair and the dealer has a pair of 7s and 8s. So we're going to get paid on the ante and on the play. All right, Jack of Diamonds, 10 of Clubs. Guys, this is my favorite hand of all time. Let me know what your favorite hand is. If it's Aces, I don't want to hear it. Everybody loves Aces. 
And the dealer has Jack 5. And you know what, guys? I have been keeping the stats. I have not lost Jack 10 since I have started streaming. I have won every single Jack 10. Very strong hand for me. All right, King of Spades. Let's go. We need to get that Ace King back. And we need to finally win with an Ace King. Oh, okay. So we hit a King. And the dealers just playing the board. They're not going to qualify. Why couldn't we have a Royal Flush in this hand? We needed the Ace-10 of Diamonds. Instead, we got King-4. But the Kings are holding up. This is a great 4X. And yes, King-4 normally unsuited is not a 4X hand. All right, we got 3 of Diamonds. Ace of Diamonds, nice. Another 4X. We do have 75 on the hand. So we're putting $300 on the back end. All right, ace, two, three, four. We need a, we need a five. And this is a great, great push because we had absolutely nothing. And once a dealer flipped over the ace, I thought we were a goner. And that's the only way we actually push on this hand. Unbelievable. All right, eight of hearts, seven of clubs. We're going to check that. All right, with eight high, we have to hit an eight or a seven, and we did not hit anything, so we have to fold it. And the dealer has ace nine, two pairs. All right, queen of hearts, six of hearts. Now, this is a four X, but again, I didn't four X it before. We did hit a queen on the flop to tell me again I should have four X it, but I'm gonna two X it. Nice, queen or six, and we got two pairs, which is always a strong hand. And the dealer has nothing, king high. So we do win on the 2x. We did miss out on another 2x. But you know what? Everyone plays how they want to play. And yes, we are having some camera issues. I need to get a new stand. The dealer accidentally flipped my card. But you know what, dealer? It's okay. I'll take that 4x every day. Let's go. Let's see what you can do on your first hand. Last session, you were amazing. And okay, so we didn't get anything this time. Let's see. Okay, seven and a three. So yes, we are starting off on the same foot. Let's get it. Ace high is a winner. And that's why I always love to have an ace because we have an advantage. And we have a nine of diamonds, deuce of diamonds. I definitely prefer this hand to 49ers because I love deuces. And we need a check. We didn't hit anything on the flop. We need a nine or a deuce or a high card. High card one time. Oh, great. You gave us the bottom pair. We'll take that every day. I was just hoping to play the board. And the dealer has a club and an eight. Yes, so they struck out. They do qualify with a pair of kings, and we're going to get paid on the ante and on the play. All right, five of diamonds, ace of diamonds. Yes, we got another ace, another 4x. We do have 75 on the ante, so we're going to put 300 on the play. Let's go, chips. Find some money. All right, so we need a three for a straight. Let's get a little wheel. And okay, so we got again ace high. We have to hope the ace high is good. Okay, we dodged one, five, six. Yes, and ace high is good again. And again, guys, I see people that are afraid to 4x ace high all the time. And I sit there hoping that I had their cards. But my goodness, the ace highs are doing great this session, except for ace king. All right, and we got king six. And I said, you know what? Hold on one second. We just won a 4x. Let's see if we could get another 4x on the books. And this time here, I do have 100 on the back end. All right, we didn't hit the flop. We need a king or a six, a little. Okay, let's go, ace or nine. Okay, so we need the dealer to miss. One miss. And yes, two misses. And the king six holds up. Definitely best case scenario because we didn't even have a pair and we're getting paid on the ante and on the play. All right, ace of clubs, let's go. We need to get pocket aces. Right now, pocket aces would pay $1,500. So let's make it happen. We do have 100 on the ante, so we have $400 on the back end. All right, so we didn't hit anything on the flop. Okay, okay. 
Let's see what you got, Dieter. One break. Oh my goodness, you made it very difficult. So we need a king or an ace. Only way we win on the back end. And wow, we have a baby deuce. Yes, Dieter, that one hurt me too. It hurt me more than it hurt you, trust me. But we put it behind us and we have a seven of clubs, queen of clubs. Again, this is a 4X, but since I haven't 4X once this session, I'm going to be consistent. This is a great flop for us. We do need one more club for a flush. I'm going to be a little greedy. I'm going to 2X it. And we miss, but we still have a strong hand with a queen high. And the dealer has a five and a king, another king, back to back kings. But you know what? We're going to end the session here. And in this session, we are cashing out $1,400, a profit of $400. Let's go over the session stats. In this session, I played a total of 34 hands. I won 20, lost 11, and pushed three times. I got five trips and one pocket pair bonus. I 4x 14 times and won 10 out of 14. I promise you that next time I go to the casino, I'll have a better tripod so that we can capture all the action. You see that subscribe button? You know what to do. Thank you.